Hello everyone, welcome to Midweek News. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Warcraft's movie, the virtual reality comments made by PlayStation boss Shuhei Yoshida, and a couple of games that have been uh, uh, released so far. So stay tuned for more of Midweek News. So last week I talked about how I saw the Warcraft uh, movie teaser, and the Warcraft official trailer came out last weekend uh, when during uh, BlizzCon. So I got to watch the trailer. It was interesting. Uh, not much to it, I thought, other than the fact that I got the I know I noticed people like I, I saw people actors in it that I was like, hey, I recognize that person. It made me almost want to go see the movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm too harsh on it, but um, uh, one of the actors that I, I know is Travis Fibble, who's also in the uh, Vikings uh, TV show uh, by uh, the History Channel, and that show is great. Um, I don't know how historically accurate it is, probably not much, but he's a fine actor. I like him. I knew Ben Foster, and uh, I... I I like saw him and I recognized him, but I didn't know his name. But Dominic Cooper plays King Lane in uh, the film, and so those guys, uh, those three guys, I saw and I was like, "Hey, I know that guy," or "That's the that's him." Uh, most commonly, I as soon as I saw Travis film, I was like, "Hey, this movie might actually be worth watching now." Um, that I I put a lot of emphasis on on, on just bashing the film before I've even seen it. Uh, but mostly for, for, because for comedy, but also because I just, I don't have high hopes, uh, for a film that is based on a game made like 15 years ago <laughs> or even like back in the nineties. Um, uh, but I will say this, I will, I will, I will probably watch it. I will go see this movie. Um, I have to say, I think, I think the trailer did the job it was supposed to do. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, uh, I, I, if anything, it will be a good, it will be a fun roller coaster is what I expect. And that's all. Uh, but that's fine. It's fine. You could, you could spend eight bucks at a theater and go see it. I, I, I know I say $8. Uh, I, I live in a neighborhood that has a cheaper cheaper fee- theater than most. Uh, but uh, like if you spent $10 on go watch a movie, that, then, you know, th- that seems like a good deal. Uh, Warcraft movie coming out in uh, June 10th, 2016. So PlayStation boss Shuhei Yoshida uh, was talking to Digital Spy about... Uh, the new uh, virtual reality that's going to be coming out uh, for PlayStation. Uh, they're saying that the that there might be need uh, for some more or new uh, rating labels for games. Now, this o- this is something that um, would be expected uh, when new technology comes into play. Uh, the uh, administ- in- the administration, whoever handles uh, rating of, of, of media of any kind, TV, uh, radio, movies, uh, and games, they all, whenever a new technology comes out, they always say, oh man, this stuff is wild. It's going to require new things. Well, yeah, of course it is. Every time, every time. It's not really that surprising. But what is interesting is the fact that uh, someone from PlayStation is talking about it. I thought that was kind of cool that someone's like realizing, you know, this is going to be big content. And this is going to usually it's I, I you hear people, you know, just people with pitchforks going, ah, oh, this stuff that's going to corrupt children. And that's not really the case so far, I should say. I could totally see this where, well, as soon as virtual reality, people are going to be like, oh, kids are going to. Kids are gonna be watching porn on this, and that's 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 all they're gonna think about. And they're gonna be looking at boobies, and that's a problem for some people. Uh, not me. Uh, I don't have a really pro- big problem with that because um, if you think that they're not watching porn now, 
then you are sadly mistaken. Uh, so, <laughs> yep, uh, virtual reality, it's pretty big. I, it's, I think it's going to be in its early, very early stages. I'm imagining uh, the virtual reality being much like the, uh, the Wii controller's uh, uh, um, motion sensor. Like, it was finicky at best. Uh, at worst, it was, just didn't work. Um, I know some people might be like, well, it worked for me most of the time. It's like, well, yeah, but that's that's early stages where you have where when you have to sync constantly or you have to like continuously adjust things or you have to like it's not automatic. That's early stages. That's kind of what I'm expecting virtual reality to be. It's going to be early stages. It, it will look really good, but I'm expecting there to be like problems with just, you know, the hardware syncing or or, or, well, I should say software or something like that. Not hardware. Um, software syncing or, like, just having issues um, with with the programming itself as opposed to, uh, as opposed to um, the, um, the actual hardware of it and how it's theoretically supposed to work. Um, the the other I the issue that I think with, that's going to be with virtual reality is it's not going to have very many games that are going to... Um, uh really support it as of yet there might they'll 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 release the product then they'll come out with games that are, are supported by that product and then later on as as for more and more people make more games for it it'll become more and more uh uh it'll be growing in, in demand so more people will want it as more games come out for it uh also i'm wondering if this is actually going to be true virtual reality or they're just making like a uh a uh, what's what's that device called? O Oculus Rift for your PlayStation. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm half expecting it mostly to be like that, but it's going to be up on your face, and that's cool in itself. And uh, the Ocular Oculus Rift is cool. Um, I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, it's like I said, it's early stages, but it will develop. It will continue to develop, and it will become, I think, an amazing product for everyone to use. So with all the Fallout 4 Hullabaloo and all the excitement for that game coming out, there was another game that came out at the same day. On the same day, it was Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now you may be saying, Rise of the Tomb Raider? That came out? I didn't even notice. Well, you're not alone. A lot of people didn't notice that Rise of the Tomb Raider came out this week, and mostly because Fallout 4 came out this week. Also, because Rise of the Tomb Raider is an Xbox One exclusive. And so, a lot of people who have PlayStations and not Xboxes, and people that have have PCs, didn't really care. And not only is it Xbox exclu Xbox One exclusive, but it's also not going to be on PC for like six months, and it's not going to be on PS4 for like a year. So, that's hard. If you're wanting people to get hyped for your game when it first released, Making it exclusive for Xbox One, not a good idea. Uh, not to say that their sales are going to be completely down. It probably is just fine. And they've already made most of their money probably from Microsoft buying the right, like the, the, the access to it early, earlier the most. But I'm expecting, what I'm expecting is that this will be kind of a similar thing that happened with, uh, with uh, GTA 5. GTA 5 was a console exclusive. I believe it was on PlayStation and Xbox at the same time. Uh, but it didn't come out for PC until like a year later. Uh, and that uh, had a lot of excitement when it came out on PC. So, th But that might have also been because they realized that, that their ex the excitement level might be lower because it's not the first time the game's coming out. It's just coming out on PC. So they added this first person view and that got a lot of people I think excited. The idea that you could have a first person perspective in a GTA 5 game. So so I think I think that helped them out a lot uh, with GTA 5. So I don't know if it will have that kind of level, but they could do something like that or you know do add some new content or add some new game mechanic or something like that where they make it a little bit more interesting for a release date. Uh, but Needless to say, Rise of the Tomb Raider was just not as good. It just didn't get any coverage. 
because Fallout 4 is just too amazing. Speaking of Fallout 4, if you watched this video, why did you watch this video? Why aren't you playing Fallout 4? Go play on Fallout 4, okay? But before you go play- oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Before you go to go play Fallout 4, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Maybe playing some Fallout 4. Who knows?